Guys, Deluded, welcome back to the Deluded Show. I'm back again. At this point, you know that while I'm on a general basis open to changing my opinions, I make a case of I'm not always right. I'm just a, a man like you guys who just sits here and talks about football and watches it. But in this particular series, I don't feel my opinions up for debate. I don't feel I want to debate it. Quite frankly, I don't really care for other opinions. But it's all love, though, people. But Jose Antonio Reyes, I can't lie. Are we going to admit that he was crap or what? Um, when I say crap, do I do I mean he was a bad footballer? No, he had a lot of technical ability. He was able to beat a man. He had a lot of electrifying attributes about him. And it's, with his career on a general basis, I mean, yeah, he's, he's won titles. He's won three Europa Leagues and he's won a league title with Madrid. So he's had a good career. You wonder what could have been if not for the injuries and all of these things. Like he was, he had the talent. Why, why I say that is because when you look at how much he was signed for at Arsenal and what, 20 million or so, give or take, wherever that rises with inflation, that's probably 60 million in today's terms. Obviously, I have an agenda, so I'm going to gas it, people. But I don't feel he was a good player. He had moments where it was vital for us. I remember him, who was it? He scored against Chelsea. I'm so sure he knocked Chelsea out of the FA Cup or something. Um, he scored vital goals. He didn't score many, but he scored vital goals to get us the league title in 04, if I remember correctly. So he did have his moments. He knocked someone out of the FA Cup too. So he did, he did have his moments. Moments where he stood up to be counted for us, to be honest with you. But he just, I can, and again, I can appreciate that. Like I said, regardless, if he was there when we needed someone to, to stand up to be counted, then cool. And he, so clearly, I don't feel he was a bad player because clearly I've admitted that he's scoring these goals. He didn't score many, but he's scoring these goals when it needed to be. He had good technical qualities. I just don't think, I just think past that something was missing. Like I can, I, I can't put my finger on it. Something was just missing. I just, he had the ability, but I just think something was missing from his play to be a good player. And he was a yatty. Like, I mean, the guy's asking, crying about being homesick and these things there. He went back. Didn't happen for him at, um, at Madrid. I mean, Antonio Reyes on loan to Madrid and Julio Baptista on loan to Arsenal was probably one of the worst swap deals in, in, in football of all time. Two crap players and neither hit the targets. I mean, if you're... Jose, you're la if you're at, um, Reyes, you're laughing because you won a league title. And I remember when Real Madrid TV was going, you was... I remember watching that run and Higuain was scoring goals every week and that, but you weren't really there, man. I mean, 21 caps for Spain, you ain't really scored too many times for them. Four years at Seville, you ain't really been a vital player for them. Forgive me if I'm wrong, Seville fans. You've not really been prolific. Like, I mean, like, how many, like, in 110 appearances for Arsenal, you have 23 goals and 23 assists. I mean, I'm being harsh to a degree because that somewhat shows you it's a case of what could have been. That's 46 in... in a contribution to 46 goals in 110 appearances that's not the worst so i guess i'm being i'm being slightly harsh on him he only got 16 league goals as well um and he got a decent amount of assists i give him credit so he wasn't a bad player but i just feel something's missing i don't want to say a man was over it because clearly it wasn't but if we keep it 100 for the money spent he was probably a flop he was clearly the lucas perez <laughs> again i'm being harsh but the lucas perez before perez was a thing so like yeah, man, this would probably be one of Wenger's... You look at... I know he's made a lot of wasteful signings, you could argue. Mustafi, Perez, Xhaka instantly all three are up there and, and some others, and he's done some good business. But between the three I've I've said with, with the three names of Xhaka, Perez and, and Mustafi, Reyes has probably got to be in Wenger's top 10 wastes of money, to be fair with you. Wenger will allow you because you've got Henri, you've got Anelka, you've got all these sick players, Vieira, etc. So will allow you to a degree. But, um, yeah, man... I just feel he was overrated, to be fair. Like, I just don't feel he was much of a good player, if I'm honest, if I'm completely honest with you, away from his technical qualities and all the things you attribute with Spanish players. So, yeah, I don't feel he was good, man. But, guys, deluded, get in the comments, subscribe, and do the rest if you wish, man. I'm out. Thank you for watching, regardless of if you agree or disagree with me. It means a lot, man.